name is Father Jonathan Meyer. Welcome to All Saints Sunday Preparation Program. We are getting ready for the 11th Sunday of Ordinary Time. This is Mark chapter 4, 16 through 34. Mark chapter 4, 16 through 34. I heard this really powerful quote the other day. It said this, most young people feel like they are a white crayon writing on white paper. Whoa. A white crayon writing on white paper. What does that mean? I mean, it just says so much about the fact that they feel invisible. They feel that no one hears them. They feel that they don't matter. They feel insignificant in a world that seems so large. They seem to be a voice that can't make a difference in a world where everyone seems to be screaming. Now, these are the exact same people that I think God wants to use in a powerful way These are mustard seeds. See, in their smallness, in their feeling of being insignificant, God has them ripe and ready to realize their power. Young people are powerful. Young people do have influence. Young people do have a voice. And yet so often they hear a lie that says, nope, you're small. You're insignificant. You can do nothing. And yet we forget that it is through smallness. It is through littleness. It is through the tiny that God does mighty deeds. It's through a young virgin in Nazareth that God changes the whole entire world. It's through death and sweat and blood that God redeems the world. An insignificant, insignificant man in an insignificant town is our Savior. Yeah, small is mighty. So get some reflection questions on today's gospel. Mark 16 through 34, these reflection questions are down below in the description for those of you who are on YouTube. You can also always find them at allsaintscatholic.net. What's the basic context, content of today's reading? What's the good news? How is it good news? Uh, what verse or passage stuck out to you? What does a seed represent? What does a seed represent in Christianity? Have you ever seen a mustard seed? What does it look like? How big is it? What does this analogy mean to you? Have you ever in your life felt small or insignificant or tiny? How do you know, who do you know that has great faith? Who do you know that supports others and brings others to faith? What's one way you can act on this passage? Thanks for joining us for a live. Do so every single week. Spread the word. Share this video with others. Let's go make a difference. Let's be saints and allow your faith, which might seem small, to change the world. Amen.